Hi guys, my name is Hannah Renee and this is Young Womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyle, self-care, homemaking, and all of the above. So if you like that type of content, make sure to subscribe. This vlog shows what I do on my rest days to refuel and be refreshed for the work week ahead. Stay tuned for the end of the video because I share my journal prompts for my rest day if you like those. Now, let's jump into the video. yesterday oh like, no. like don't tell on me don't oh no it's like uh shameful in the coffee community he is a manager of a coffee shop i should explain that it's shameful to go to the chains that's not that's a good look not even not even just the fact that it's a chain but also the fact that it's just tastes awful it's just bad I'm just a person, so I get to go wherever. <laughs> it doesn't matter for me. It should. Going to pick up our donuts for us. There's people still getting prayed. Stay at the altar. Continue to get prayer. Don't don't move from that moment. The Lord's doing something. Uh, but I just want to share just a couple things real quick. You can check. Every one of you has your hands in your pockets. It's funny. Every one of you is walking around with your hands in your pockets. Hey guys, it is 3 p.m. after church, and I'm getting unready now. So. This is obviously my rest day, as you know. On rest days, Sabbath days, come home from church and I immediately get unready because I'm not going anywhere the rest of the day. And I wanted to share a little bit about rest days and Sabbath because I'm very passionate about it and I think everyone should have a rest day. You just should. So something I implemented when I turned 18 is having a rest day. I just kind of picked a day that worked with my schedule and I said no to anything that I didn't want to do or at least that I could say no to. Instead, I did things that make me feel refilled, make me feel rested, make me feel refueled in more ways than one. So that can mean physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, all those things. So I implemented that when I was a youth pastor, I was a youth pastor when I was 18, if you didn't know. Then I went to college, still implemented that, 
then I transferred colleges when I moved to Tennessee, still implemented that, started working full-time at American Eagle, still implemented that, and then people think it's crazy. I was in college and I had three jobs my senior year and I still implemented a rest day. If you prioritize it, you can make time for it. A lot of people will tell me, I just don't have time to have a full rest day. But truly, if you make it a priority in your life, you will find the time and you will work your schedule around it. I told my bosses that I couldn't work one day a week. I told my academic advisors at college, can't go to class on that day, depending on when my rest day was. I figured it out. I personally take a rest day because in, as a Christian in the Bible, there's a lot of mentions of a Sabbath day and the Lord rested on the Sabbath day in creation as an example to us to also rest and conduct our weeks in the same way. Not that he needed it, but he did it as an example for us and as a gift to us that we can also partake in a rest day. So that's what I personally believe. But even if you're not a Christian, still think that you should have a rest day because we're not meant to be robots. We're not meant to work seven days a week, 24 seven. As much as our culture will say that, that's just not the reality. And if you're a young adult at all, you've been faced with this harsh reality that you can't actually do it all all the time you need times of rest there's also times where i'll meet people that don't need rest because they'll veg i call it veg i don't know another word for it but they just veg out during the week so maybe they work nine to five and then at five they go home, eat dinner, watch TV for us tonight, and go to sleep, and they veg. And they don't feel they need rest because they do that. But the difference between resting and vegging is resting is actually doing intentional things that will make you feel good, make your soul feel good, your mind feel good. And not that I don't love a good movie night or a binge session, but normally I don't feel the best after sure you don't either and i feel like there's a time and a place for those i want to say that rest looks different for everybody what you find restful may not be restful for me so a few things that i do on my rest days are read take care of plants i play guitar because i actually am a musician but i don't practice very much so i like to do it just once a week just for fun i'll color go on a walk have a movie night because I'm a big movie night person. My family grew up having movie nights several times a week and that's kind of what I do on my rest days. I try to stay off my phone as much as possible especially because I work from my phone. Being on my phone on my rest day is not good for me. Another thing that I also do on my rest day since it's just me and my husband but I also plan on implementing this when we have kids one day is having family dinner together. Normally when we eat dinner, we sit on the couch in front of the TV, but on rest days or Sundays for us, we will sit at the table and just kind of check in and ask each other important questions like, how are you actually doing? How are you doing with Jesus? Do you enjoy your life right now? Like, you know, deeper questions. I know it's countercultural to have a rest day, but I highly recommend it, and I think it would be good for everybody in every season of life. I'm sitting here reading Fourth Wing. Just started it, so I can't tell you my thoughts. I've only read a chapter, so not that much, but we're about to enter this world, so we'll see how it goes. Don't paint me thankless, just have to say this No, you doubt it the way you move Lost in your fragrance Still Something I like to do that somebody gave us <laughs> This little mini fondue set I'll just melt some chocolate Get strawberries and marshmallows And have a little treat So that's what I'm gonna do Gonna watch YouTube while I enjoy that 
because that sounds restful to me. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Mm, I think I want this one. vibes i know it's february i have valentine's balloons behind me but i am ready for spring i'm feeling the spring vibes right now so i did that and then i also went over my notes i'm actually speaking at our young adults group tomorrow so went over these just to make sure everything kind of looked good it made sense i wrote them a few days ago so that i could have a few days away from it to look back on it and now probably gonna read another chapter of fourth wing i'm getting hooked like i didn't think this would happen but like first chapter i'm getting hooked into this world so i'm gonna read another chapter then probably heat up some leftovers for dinner i sometimes will cook on my rest day sometimes i won't because i just get really tired journal at least once a week i'm not the best journaler <laughs> i know some people do every day but i do not so what i journal is i do a weekly recap i do a highlight down point did accomplish didn't accomplish energy giving energy draining excited for next week feeling for last week grateful for and a rate so i filled all that out and that's kind of my journaling routine it's good to recap and kind of actually think about the things that happened during the week and see what i could do to make them better that is going to be the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because i love to do this for you and if you like self-care type of vlogs, rest day vlogs, make sure to check out, it's going to be on this side, this vlog next, I think. I don't know what side it's going to be on. But make sure to check it out and I will see you whenever I see you next. Bye guys. Bye.